what's up, what's up, what's up? How you doing? How you been? What's going on? What's good? Oh, you getting it in? Someone's getting it for you. <laughs> what's going on, people? <laughs> Whoa, well, what's going on, people? As you see, I changed my hair back to blonde. It is what it is. Anyway, what's going on, people? Um, hmm. Oh, I'm still having problems sleeping. Last night when I finally went to sleep, um, I had a crazy dream. I'm always having these crazy dreams about buildings collapsing and the ground went under and it was a lot of water and stuff like that. And, you know, last time I had a dream like that, we were attacked on, um, um, the World Trade Center was attacked. And it's weird because it was kind of like really weird. And every time I have those kind of dreams, like, it kind of like lets me know what's to come, but it's never in the form of what I'm thinking that it's going to come. Anyway. That being said, um, have you ever had those dreams? And it's funny because the world is moving very quickly and very fast. And I always say younger people are reincarnated people. That's the reason why a lot of them already know what they know before we even have to teach them. And um, I used to babysit, so I know when it comes to young people and stuff like that, they're almost like hilariously funny people. But they will teach you to be patient. <laughs> But they're very smart people. That's why we say you can always learn from anyone you never really know. Anyway, that being said, what's going on, people? This is my thing. You know, I was talking to my sister, and I was like, you know, she's like, you know, you really, you're, you're too beautiful. You need to stop always staying in the house. You, you have trapped, you have made yourself in prison of a mind of another man. Meaning that someone has hurt me so bad that I refuse to go out and search elsewhere. Now, the thing about it is when we do try to go out and we move on with our life when leaving someone that we've been in a relationship with, in my case, it was like about four years or three years ago now, but it's hard for me to move on because simple fact of the matter, I don't trust nothing nobody says to me. And now that I'm on my, you got to bring me something and I don't give a fuck attitude, I don't think I could ever return back because I'm always thinking he's up to something. And I'm not saying every man, and I'm not saying, you know, everybody's bad and stuff like that, because that's not true. But in my case, I haven't healed yet, and I'm still working out a few anger issues. <laughs> like the men tell me, you're a jaded, bitter bitch. I said, okay, I'll wear that. Because my simple fact of the matter is that you're the one who made me this way, and the simple fact of the matter is that don't be mad at the delivery, be mad at the messages that I've run into you. <laughs> Anyway, that being said, and, um, you know, it's funny because, like, a lot of times, a lot of, a lot of people try to get me to go to straight clubs and stuff like that, you know. But my thing is, this is well, I don't understand. Everybody's whole attitude with me is like, I don't understand why you won't go. Because the last thing I want to do is be in a bar when they're liquored the fuck up and I drop the bomb, which you know I won't. But I drop the bomb on them and be, be liquor impaired, be to smack the shit out of them and maybe beat my ass. And we all know I'm not really one for taking an ass whooping, but I'm giving one back. <laughs> but I feel like this, if you come out to fight, there's no reason for me to go out. You know, and I'm just lost across the board. You know, it is what it is. Anyway. Oh, I've had crushes. I think it's the worst part of being a transsexual is when you meet a guy and he's fine as hell and he's checking you out. He's all into you. And you get so lost in him, you're like, <laughs> bitch, <laughs> you <laughs> oh. but you know, with me, I do this, I see you, but I go, and I know y'all do too, don't see y'all, I'm the only one, we go, if you get boys, you know, y'all be looking at him, you be like, you be trying to wonder if he's actually looking at you, and he do be, and the simple fact of the matter for the guys that are, you know, the gay guys, of course, if you're looking at you really funny, he may like you. I may want to take you somewhere and just, you know. But with the girls like me, it's almost like, you know, I always say we wear the mask of an unidentified person that no one quite seemed to understand, and sometimes not even ourselves. But we live in our truths and stuff like that. But when you take it into society, they're not looking for stuff like that. I mean, there are guys looking for us. But then there are some guys who just walking down the street to see a girl walk past some titties and da 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 Whether you buffed or not, <laughs> it may take about a few minutes for to catch on. But, you know, it is what it is. And I met this one guy and stuff like that. He was just looking at me, looking at me. <sighs> I couldn't say not one thing. He was, like, about to come approach me and I shut out the door. I was like, I'm going. I can't. I can't do it. I can't. And, um... 
As you see, that's what made me result back to blonde hair. <laughs> if I wear black hair, man, keeps hitting on me. I'm back to blonde. I'm about to go, hmm. And I can't just say that because I always say, well, blonde hair. But that's not true either because God's are coming at me now. I guess you'd be throwing the universe. Oh, but if I wear blonde hair, they won't come at me. So guess what the universe is doing? The universe is sending me people now with blonde hair. <laughs> I guess the next stop is a baldy. That's a bit much. <laughs> I mean, if you could rock a ball, then honey, rock it. My head is too big. I mean, it's not much of the map we need to see, but to get the full fucking global map of this motherfucking head, I, I don't see it. <laughs> I can't feature it, and I don't want to look at it. You know, it is what it is, and I know I have a big ass head, but that's how I see it. Anyway, that being said, I want to make sure my shirt stay close. Anyway, I don't want to make this a really long video, but it's like a close encounter. When you see a man, you're like, whoa. Oh, baby, but you know, so, oh yeah, I forgot. <laughs> anyway, that being said, it is now Saturday, and I want you all to have a great, safe weekend. And of all the girls like me and the children of the life, LGBT, to always be safe, and that included me. And I want you to have a great time and enjoy your life, and don't let nobody become a prisoner. Like I have become, because I refuse to date, because I don't trust a man, and stuff like that, because... What's the point of time when you got into an argument with a guy, y'all went home and y'all went home mad? Now you get home with an argument with a guy, that motherfucker's all lie, I took it to somebody else. <laughs> and then you said, well, you didn't answer your phone because I wanted to talk about it. He done moved on. The wonderful world, the internet, where you could just find somebody or just dial them. You don't got to go to the bar. You don't got to go to the club. You don't got to go to the laundry man. You don't got to walk down the street or to the park or to the church. You just press a button and go, hmm, hmm, <laughs> And there it is. Anyway, that being said, how do you feel about internet now? That when you get into an argument with someone, they actually go online and just get someone else. And they boo-boo you away. And you say, well, did you miss me as much as I miss you? They go, mm-hmm. <laughs> no, and damn well, they didn't. Anyway, I just want to do that little recap and stuff like that. You know, a lot of few things that's been going on in my life with my little dollar store earrings. Anyway, as you see, I'm back to blonde, but we already know I probably won't keep it because you know I'm wishy-washy as hell. Anyway, I want to thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. Hello, all new people. Bam. Hello, all new people. Boom. And I want you to do you. I want you to do you the best way you can. And if nobody don't like it, then fuck them. <laughs>